Well, good morning. Um, I, I'm, I always listen with a lot of interest to um, gold projects, and, and, and I find it interesting um, how people want to invest in gold, and they, they want to find an angle, and they want to find uh, gold projects that are uh, better grade and everything. But sometimes they miss out other opportunities that are providing better returns. So I'm here to present you one of them. Um, this is our Tres Quebradas project uh, in Argentina. It's a lithium project. Um, just to, to go quickly, I mean, you probably heard, and I mean, lithium is, uh, was the pre one of the preferred commodities a year and a half, two years ago. Not the preferred commodity today. Um, lithium price has come down because there is quite a bit of supply on the market, which is great. Um, that's exactly what the market wants. Uh, they want cheap lithium so you can have actually a cheap battery, so you can have a cheap electric car and not a $100,000 or $200,000 car. So that's exactly what our company is all about. So we want to bring um, world-class asset. Um, uh, we have a resource that is at least 35 years. Um, it, it's still growing because we haven't finished defining it. Um, so the reserves that we have identified today are 35 years. The resource is probably good for 100 years. Um, we, we are at the, what we think is very, very close to the bottom end of the curve in terms of cost. And despite that, um, we have an internal rate of return of 50%, um, payback less than two years. So with an investment of $300 million that, that we are very close to uh, closing, um, the NPV of the company will be $1.1 billion. And I'm talking at the lowest valuation that you have for lithium today. So there is, this is very difficult to match by any, any other commodity. Uh, so I'll just go quickly. I've, I've been here twice or three times, and uh, some of you have already seen the presentation, so I'll just remind people a couple of things. Um, uh, our project is in Argentina. Uh, the brine projects of the world are in this region, in between Argentina, Chile, and Bolivia. Um, and what is the key importance of brine projects? They're large-scale, low cost. They're the lowest cost producers of lithium in the world. So you can put rock projects from Australia, Canada quickly into production, but they're not going to be the lowest cost producers if you have to produce lithium carbonate. Um, we know Argentina very well. We have done several projects in Argentina. In a, we, we own 100% of the, of the property. Um, we are fully permitted, so we have uh, complied with almost all the requirements from the government so far. The last part the government is asking is for us to complete financing before they grant us the final permits. They don't like approving things without you having uh, final financing. In terms of where is the project um, compared to the peers, um, we put a couple of graphs to simplify to people. Um, we have a very large resource, um, so we're going to utilize the northern part of the resource first. Um, that allows us to be in production for 35 years um, providing the second highest grade in the world. So this is very important. So you have one uh, big area that is the Atacama Desert that hosts uh, two big producers, SQM and Albermail. And they're big because they have good grade and they have a lot of uh, resources. And if you look at our information in our chart and what we have found, um, this is the largest uh, below, be, uh, after them and with the, highest, the second highest grade in the world. Um, it is very important to understand grade because grade means that you will invest less capex to start operations. So if you start from a higher grade, you have to evaporate less. So your pond surface is less. So ju and just to simplify to people trying to do the analysis, we put graphs like this showing the surface, the evaporation surface of the ponds that uh, companies like SQM and Albermail have to build in order to get to production. Um, the ponds that we will build and the ponds that our competitors will have to build to get into production too. So that, that shows a distinct advantage and hence the, the internal rate of return of the project. The other part, uh, the other most important part is the chemistry. So you want to have very low contaminants. Um, the majority of your operating cost will be in relation to cancelling your contaminants. So if you have a lot of sulfate, you have to add lime. Um, if you have magnesium, unfortunately, there aren't many things you can do. 
Um, chances are when you try to cancel magnesium, you will lose lithium. So you need to start from very high grade. So projects that are high grade like this can afford to have a little bit of magnesium. Regardless of that, um, you can see in that chart uh, where we're placed in relation to our peers and in relation to the companies that are in production. And that's why we're forecasting to be the lowest cost producer in the world. Just, just a picture of the uh, resource itself. Um, of course, we're talking not only about a geological resource, but a hydrogeological resource. So we're extracting water. Um, lithium is soluble, so it's a salt, and it's uh, dissolving water. So we take the water, we concentrate it, and then we extract the salts from that. In terms of enterprise value, um, I also make people aware uh, of the value. When you, when you go and do an investment, um, have a look at the size of the resource, not, not only um, the marketing campaign on when are they going to be in production and things like that, because some of these resources are very, very small. So when you invest in those companies, um, you're already in investing at a very high price. Your entry level is very high. So have a look at the relationship between um, your resource and the cost of the company today. For the geologists in the group, um, we publish all of the information of the first uh, uh, 35 years um, and how the grade goes down uh, during that period. As I said, we're, you're mining water. Uh, it is important to understand that when you are pumping water out of a system, you need two permits. You need the lithium permit, but you also need a water permit. So make sure that most of the companies that uh, you review in this sector uh, have both. Because in some cases, you may be able to extract lithium, but not necessarily uh, water in the area. So, but if you do have permits for water, then you're also in a, in a good zone. This is our salar. Those uh, are the drill holes that we have uh, done. Uh, very few companies in the world have spent the amount of money we have spent um, in researching our asset. We don't want any mistakes. We want to bring it to production in a responsible way. Uh, we have spent so far... Th 45 million dollars. Um, we're very well funded. We still have another 40 million dollars in the bank. Um, so uh, this will see us all the way to production, um, subject to, of course, final financing. Just a picture of the area. This is not fresh water. This is brine. So if you just imagine you're looking at a, at a brine surface. So, so this is salt water. Um, has a pH of 4. It doesn't have any value, so you, you cannot drink it. No animal can drink it. You will not see a plant. You will not see anything. This is acidic water, um, uh, very, very uh, high in all kinds of salts. It has a lot of potash also. Um, we're also going to look at uh, potassium chloride as a, as a subproduct of, of lithium in our site. Just the work that we have done lately. So. You're extracting water, so you want to prove that you can extract water at the right rate, so you can keep your ponds full and you can keep the evaporation rates. Um, so that, that's what we have achieved. Um, you need to pilot your ponds. You need to understand how quickly they evaporate in that region, um, how fast the salts precipitate. So it's, it's, a, it's a complex process. Some of the companies have not done a very good job at piloting. Um, we have spent two, longer than two years now piloting our ponds. Uh, these are big ponds, so uh, this is 360 meters by 100 meters, more or less, uh, each of them. Um, we, we believe that we have mastered now this. We are producing our own concentrate. Um, these, are, these are just some pictures so you can see the salts precipitating. Um, we have produced our own concentrate from our own brine, and we have also produced our own uh, lithium carbonate from our own piloting plant. So that this was very important uh, achievement. Um, we published it a, a few weeks ago. Uh, our first batch was so pure um, that we published all the results, so 99.1%. Um, to achieve, that, that is already technical grade. If you want to achieve battery grade, it needs to be at 99.5%. And we believe within the next three, four weeks, we'll be able to announce that too. Um, very, very important is for us the relationship that we have with the local community. Uh, Catamarca in this area of Argentina hasn't received a lot of mining uh, presence uh, in, the, in the last 20 years, 30 years. So the communities are starving for work. That's the majority of the requests that we receive is for employment. Um, we have committed to the local communities that 70% of our personnel will come from that region. They're very well qualified, 
so far it has been uh, an excellent reception from them. We already got the permits where the plant is going to be, and we're going to locate ourselves probably three, four kilometers away from the main uh, town of Fiambala. So as we said, very impressive numbers. Um, very, very low capital entry because of their high grade and very good chemistry, so $320 million. Internal rate of return of 50% almost, 1.1 um, billion MPV at today's price, so at the lowest part of that curve. Uh, if you start putting prices from a year ago, that goes very quickly to $2 billion. So this is what I was talking about being the lower cost producer. So we are forecasting to be the lowest cost in the world uh, today. Um, and you can see the brine uh, projects being in the lowest quartile and the rock projects being in the highest quartile. So what we, have, what we have achieved so far, um, we have completed our pre-feasibilities, we have established the reserves, we have done three drilling campaigns, we have more than 35 years of resources, so we're not looking at five years or 10 years. Um, this is already a reserve of 35 years, and we believe it's going to be a lot larger in the future. Uh, the resource is, is, like I said, for almost 100 years. Um, our next step is to achieve financing. Um, we are in the final steps of that. Of that. Uh, we will JV with a, with a company that has similar objectives to us. Uh, we, we don't really prefer uh, customers. Um, we would prefer to partner up with a mining company or a chemical company um, that, that is more aligned to our objectives, and that's what we have been pursuing. So what can investors uh, expect? There are two companies in the market that have achieved what we're about to achieve. Um, one is Oro Cobre that has already started production, and the other one is Lithium Americas, that is going to start production next year. Um, these are the only two brine companies in the world um, that have achieved that. And you can see the multiples on the moment they started, um, riding the lithium market price, and from the moment they achieve financing. So usually these, these companies get really appreciation once you um, announce that you are fully financed to construction. So that's, that's what we can expect in the next few months. Um, we have very good and patient institutional shareholders. Um, BlackRock and JP Morgan have been there all the way through. Um, we have um, RB McKenzie, Sprott, as, as other uh, key uh, investors into our group. Um, our management team still holds 16% of the company. Uh, we don't want to dilute ourselves, um, so we're protecting shareholders' interests. And as I said, we're expecting financing at um, JV level, so not through capital raising. Um, history and timeline. I think our team is, is, is quite experienced. Uh, in many ways. Um, Waldo Perez was the creator and founder of uh, Lithium Americas initially. Um, myself, I have been working in the, in the mining industry for the last 27 years. Um, I work for engineering companies like Bechtel and Fluor and Hatch. Uh, and then I work for owners team like BHP Billiton and ArcelorMittal. Um, what we have found is really a world-class asset. And that's why we're working to develop it. So that's the team. Um, Constantine, our chairman, is very, very uh, well known in the market. Uh, he was the creator and CEO of Molycorp, um, very well connected in China. Uh, those are key connections if you want to develop this project to the future. So uh, in summary, um, I, I know most of you would probably prefer uh, gold, uh, but this is a quite interesting commodity. I think if you get in at this stage, you are getting it at the bottom, so you can only see the upside uh, going into the future. If you have any other questions, I'm happy to see you. I'm out in the booth. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gabriel.